Hello, YouTube. I chew the wonder chick again. You know, when I started this account, I didn't just do it to get the attention of a boy. I mostly did it to get the attention of a boy. But I've been thinking about doing CD reviews for quite a while. I just didn't know where to start. But when Rob Kleiner says, hey, download my CD and tell me what you think, you fucking do it. So here we are. Uh, starting with the obvious, Rob Kleiner and the Satanics. Production quality, absolutely exquisite. Same for composition. This self-titled side project is truly stunning. If you want to just zone out, throw on a set of headphones and play Minecraft for six or seven hours straight, this is the album to have on repeat. Not that I've ever done that. No, of course not. Um, moving on. When, when I first got my digital paws on this album, yeah, I played it over and over and over for a week straight. Drove Maddie the Wonder Roommate nuts. Stylistically, though, it is varied enough to keep my interest, but it's not in your face so that you can't concentrate on other things like work. Because work is important. And when the Wonder Roommate consented to put it on our in-car mix disc, I was thrilled. Not just because Prizzy Prizzy Please and Tub Ring and Power Glove don't exactly lend themselves to obeying the posted speed limits, but each of the 12 tracks have their own unique signature. And yet, the repetitive loops and samples unify the entire thing into one cohesive cacophony of sound that it, it makes sense. I mean, you've got trombones and rubber bands and various samples. I think at one point there may have been a kazoo. I'm not quite sure. I, I would kind of like it if there were. But I, everything, it just it comes together in a way that really makes sense and yet is not unnecessarily complicated. Now, whether this were an album of uh, ambient trance like say Mogwai or Godspeed You Black Emperor, this would easily be one of my favorite albums. And I'm, I'm not saying that it isn't, but I do have a few gripes. And maybe it's me, maybe I am missing something. It wouldn't be the first time, but I really haven't decided if Rob Kleiner and the Satanics are lyrically weak or bloody fucking brilliant. There's a dichotomy of composition versus lyrical style. You have got complex melodies mixed to perfection, accompanying lyrics such as unintending, never-ending, haunting me so thoughtlessly. Again, maybe it's just me. It's a debate that I've been having with myself. Is this serious business, or is Rob Kleiner just sort of taking the piss? And honestly, I would be fine with that. If he is wanting to say, hey, I make great music, you really enjoy listening to it. Why do I have to be pretentious with my lyrics? I'm cool with that. But um, there are some tracks that I sing along to all the time. Uh, there are some tracks that are fairly clever, like Comet Comes Crashing and Cell Phone Radiation. But for the most part, this album sort of reads like a 14-year-old girl's poetry journal. But, you know, in the end, it's a free download from www.robkleiner.com. Why you're not already there downloading this album, I don't know, because you should be. It's definitely worth a listen. All right, that is me out. If there is anything that you want to see me review, I am always looking for suggestions. Just drop me a line in the comment section here. Until next time, rock on.